open plate boats have been around since the 1980s, uh, making us actually one of the original Australian made plate boats. Each boat has up to 150 hours of labour in it and they're handmade here on the Gold Coast and available to our customers throughout our vast Australia wide network. from the, uh, the LFM plate boat factory here on the Gold Coast. I have a specialised team of 15 guys. We only build the LFMs. So I've got the best of the best in my factory. Um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about the material we use. Now we, we run a 4 mil top side, a 6 mil bottom side. Um, they're both 5083 material all the way from Italy. Now, I've, I've done a bit of a, um, a dummy here of what is actually underneath the floor of a yellow fin plate boat. So we, if you have a look at, there's the six mil, that's the six mil bottom sides. So how, how, how it goes in into the keel, a solid keel. So it slips into a slot like so, and then gets fully welded inside and out, double strength. And with that, we run a gib. That's the shape of the hull. So the gib runs 500 mil all the way up to the top of the boat. And then from the keel, these, we call these stringers, and they lock the two ribs together. And they run every 200 mil out to the chine. And these triangle bits here, we call them keel uh, chine locking plates which lock the rib to the chine. And then we call this one here, the keel locking plate, which locks the two ribs together. To simulate that. So there's another rib this side for the other half of the boat. These are five mil, they're six mil. So now I've done the simulation for you on what it actually looks like. We're going to show you an actual boat here on the factory, so come with me. Um, before I showed you a simulation on uh, what the bottom side looks like, we're actually in a hull now. This is a seven metre southerner. We've got six mil bottoms, four mil sides. This is the keel I was talking about earlier. So you see how it's fully welded on the inside. So your bottom sides have come in, fully welded. We've got stringers. We call these stringers. They go all the way out, 200 mil all the way out to the side sheet. We've got 500 ribs apart. We've got a chine locking plate. So that locks. So when you're going through a wave, that stops the rib from pulling up. So it's locked off to the chine. We've got a keel locking plate. That stops the boat from doing these movements. So that joins these together. So with the six mil bottoms, six mil stringers and five mil gibs, that's super strong, great for off offshore conditions. So this boat here rides very, very well in a very, very rough sea. And with our design, the way we've designed our, our hull like this, when you're coming off a wave, because everything's all locked in as one, it comes through and pushes the water away and disperses the way. And with the, the relaxed stem line, by the time the water disperses, you're already going forward. Where if you have got a more prudent stem line as you're going through a, a swell, it will push the water forward and come over the top of the boat and become a wet hull. The yellow fins, a very soft, dry hull.
Okay, so what we have here is one of our development boats, which has done about 350 hours in all sorts of different ocean conditions from really rough to, you know, sometimes essentially smooth. And what I wanna show you is just how well the hull has held up during all that use. So taking a closer look, if we have a look at the welds, not a single crack, you can actually see just how much uh, material goes into the, the, the keel weld when you look at it, and that, that's not cracked. Uh, it's just held up, and to be honest with you, oh, this, is, this is actually quite amazing to look at. 350 hours of work, pristine condition. So as mentioned before, we use six mil aluminium for the hulls of our, well, most of our yellowfin plate boats. You can see the pronounced leading edge on the bow, which creates a much better experience in choppier water. You can see the planing strips here, which improve the boat's ability, not only to plane, but to also uh, just basically drive and ride better in, 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 in all conditions. Our boats are some of the beamiest boats on the market, and we do it for one major reason, and that's stability. And because of this, our boats are engineered in such a way that we don't need to add ballast or anything else to the boat to improve its, its, its stability at rest or even its drivability. Our boats have reverse chine, which helps deflect the spray so our riders stay dry. But the chine's just a little bit more special than that. What we actually have is a whole piece of aluminium. It's not tacked together, it's not welded together, and it interlocks very similar to the way that we, well, exactly the same way as we construct our, our keel. We don't add additional material to the front of our bow to make the boat drier because it's dry as it stands, and we don't need to do that. We all understand that this industry is continually changing. And as a result, we are always evolving to meet the needs of our customer. Customers are the lifeblood of our business. We offer a five-year structural hull warranty and a three-year paint warranty. Everyone uses their boat differently. To cater for this, we, we have a, a range of different layouts of our boats, ranging from the southerner all the way down to our centre and rear consoles. So we have dealerships all over Australia and we encourage you to go in and see them, have a chat, Talk about what you want to use your boat for and hopefully you can find the best yellow fin to suit your needs.